a crown. Crown. Crown and necklace and ring. And what is here. this? That's a necklace. It's called a locket. You can open it and then you can see a picture. Look, I even have a necklace. <laughs> so the what? frog prince. Look. So where is the frog prince? There. And then who is she? Princess. <gasps> she is the princess. How did they? How did they find each other? Do you know the story? Um, why does the princess have a frog prince? <laughs> Do you know why? Uh, she's, okay. she's playing and the frog says, Hello! I can't help you! <laughs> okay. okay. Funny what? Once upon a time, there was a princess who had no friends. How does she feel? Sad. She feels sad. She's kind of grumpy. Like, Oh, oh, oh. This is grumpy, like, yeah, maybe a little angry. <laughs> the king and the queen invited other boys and girls to play, but they would not stay for long. She doesn't share, they said. She doesn't keep her promises. We don't like playing with her. I don't care, the princess said. I don't like them anyway. <laughs> Do you want to play with her? No. No, why not? I don't want to play with her. I don't want to play with her. I don't want to play with her because she doesn't let me play with her toys. Do you want to go to somebody's house that doesn't let you play with their toys? Yes. No, because then you have no toys to play with. But at my home, I have 102,001 toys. Mm, my, my little friend went to somebody's house recently, and the girl said he can't play with any of her toys. And so he had to sit on the sofa and play with his mommy and no toys. It was really sad. I don't. Fabio, can you open? Oh, they're playing, but are they happy? No. Is anybody happy? No. No. But okay. where is the king? Can you find your king? Good job. Where is the queen? Queen. Queen. Where is and this? Queen. And where do kings and queens live? Castle. They live in a castle. Can you say they live in a castle? They live in a castle. Good job. <laughs> So the princess became used to playing by herself. She liked to play down by the deep mill pond with her best toy, an old ball made of the purest gold. Remember I said golden ball? In the story golden we have the golden ball. Yep. Which her grandmother had given her. One day she dropped the ball. Before she could stop it, it rolled into the pond. She watched it sink into the depths until she could see it no more. She began to cry. I'll never find it now. She wept. It's lost forever. Okay, I will get you. Wait a minute. Wait, Fabio, can you open? There, it went into the water. It fell in. Okay, Finn has a oh, question. Oh, oh. The frog is from the water. The frog is from the water. You're right. Okay, now wait. Don't touch the book until I ask you, okay? Just then, a small voice came from the pond. What's the matter, little girl? Why are you so upset? There are two small eyes poking out of the water. Okay, can you open the picture? <gasps> There's the two yeah. small eyes. Oh, a frog. I don't know. Maybe she thinks it's a fish. We yeah. don't know yet. Yeah, it's a frog. Fish. I'm not a little girl, she said, huffily. I'm a princess, and I'm upset because I just dropped my golden ball into the water, and now I'll never see it again. <gasps> How does she feel? Yeah. Why does she feel sad? Because the ball is drying. The ball went into the water. Can you get it out of the water? Yes. What, how do, what do you have we to get do? get swimming. Yeah, I have to go swimming. Sometimes you don't want to swim in the water, though. It's too dirty. Maybe, maybe okay. the water should be. We can do A head popped up. Don't cry. It croaked. Ah, said the princess. I'm talking to a frog. You're lucky that you are, answered the frog. I can rescue your ball from the pond. Really? said the princess. I'll give you a reward. I've got some lovely jewels. Jewels, even a crown. That's no use to me, croaked the frog. But if I did rescue your ball, it would be nice if you would be my friend. Oh, she needs some friends. She can be her friend. I could come to your palace and have a meal with you and maybe sleep over. Of course, said the princess. I promise. Will she do it? Yeah. Is she going to bring the frog to her house? Oh, uh, yes. Well, she said she will, but I don't think she's going to. 
I think she's not gonna be good. She doesn't have a lot of friends. Why does she have no friends? Do you remember? Yes. Why? Because they are no friends. She's not very nice to her friends. Does she let them play with her toys? No. No. So maybe she will not do what the frog wants. Okay, you can. Wait. I'm gonna let. Can I let Sid do one? Oh, so the frog thinks that they can be friends. What about the princess? Yes. I don't think she likes people. She doesn't like friends. And she doesn't like frogs. Without another word, the frog dived below the surface. The princess watched it swim down until she could see it no more. After what seemed an age, she saw its dark shape coming up to the surface once again with a shiny ball in its mouth. The frog hopped out of the water and dropped the precious ball. Thank you, said the princess as she picked it up. And goodbye, I have to be home for supper. <gasps> oh, what did she forget? Frog. The frog. She said the frog can come where? What the? To her house. To her house in the palace yeah. and eat yeah. dinner yeah. and yeah. sleep yeah. in her room. Yeah. And she ran off to the castle. Wait, what? called the frog. We're supposed to be friends now. Don't be silly, the princess called back over her shoulder. Who ever heard of a frog being friends with a human, let alone a princess? <gasps> oh, she thinks she's pretty special. Is she special? <laughs> ah, we're a little special, but she shouldn't Ooh. act like it. Oh, wait, we forgot to open it. Okay, let's open. <gasps> Maybe you've heard the ball. Oh. Can you say golden ball? Golden ball. Golden ball. He gave her the golden ball. The very next morning, the princess was at breakfast when there was a loud knocking on the door. Uh, who could that be? asked the king. I'll go, offered the princess. It might be a present. She wants a gift. She ran to the door and opened it. To her horror, she saw the frog sitting on the step. Can you open the door? There's the frog! Oh no! <gasps> Can you show me? <gasps> Horror! <gasps> oh no! I hate this frog! Oh no! Just like that, yeah. She slammed the door shut. Boom! Just like that. Boom! And went boom! Back to the table. Boom! Slammed the door. Boom. Who was at the door, dear? Asked the queen. Not yet. Just the frog, wondered the princess, feeling a little ashamed. Can you say ashamed? At how she had treated it. A frog? inquired the king. What would a frog want with us? Then they heard more knocking. Not yet, not yet. And they really croak of a frog. Please let me in, it called. Remember your promise, said the king. Okay, now you can open. Who's out there? Yummy porridge for breakfast. Remember we learned porridge? porridge? A promise is a promise, said the queen. You had better tell us about it. So the princess told them how the frog had rescued her beloved golden ball. Well then, said the king, you must let it in. The princess went slowly to the door and opened it. You promised that I could come and visit you, the frog reminded her. Is breakfast ready? I'm so hungry. And it hopped right in. Even though it was only a frog, it seemed very much at home in grand surroundings. Nice palace you've got here, Mora, and said approvingly. <laughs> this is a nice breakfast. May I sit next to you? <laughs> Don't be silly, retorted the princess. You're only a frog. Oh, her parents said, you must be kind, they reminded her, and you must keep your promises. So the princess lifted it up to the table and enjoyed them for breakfast. It was very good company and told lots of good jokes. And there were times when the princess almost forgot it was a frog. Oh, is the frog a good friend? Yes. Yeah, it's a good friend. Okay, let's let Finn open this one. Oh, Finn, Finn, you are not Finn. Ooh. Oh, so how does she feel? Happy. Yeah, she needs a friend and he's a good friend. 
They played together all day. The frog knew some very good games, and they both had a lovely time. Do you know this game? I know. It is hopscotch. And this one? The hide and seek. Hide and seek. Okay, Fabio can do this one. The frog is hiding behind the tree. There he is. Right, and this is, um, this is, I think this is Blind Man's Bluff. What's this one? This one's called Leap Frog. Time for bed, her parents called at last. Frog, would you like to stay over? I'd love to rock, croaked the frog. The princess was not so sure, but her parents reminded her of her promise. Oh, well, she snapped, if I have to. Uh-oh, so where does the frog want to be tonight? At her house. Yeah, does she want the frog there? Ooh. Okay, Fabio, you can open. Mmm, although she wouldn't admit it, she quite enjoyed getting ready for bed, and the frog knew lots of really exciting bedtime stories. It was very late before they were both asleep. Oh, he told her lots of stories. The princess woke the next morning to the sound of quiet, tiny sobs coming from the frog. Why is the frog crying? I don't know either. What's the matter, she asked. All I wanted was a proper friend, thought the frog, but you're only doing this because your parents have told you to. I may as well go back to the pond. Oh, please don't cry, said the princess. I had fun yesterday. I actually forgot that you were a frog some of the time, so I think we can be friends. I know some really good games we can play today. Now stop crying. And with that, she gave the frog a friendly kiss on the cheek. Uh-oh, what happens when she kisses the frog? <coughs> Uh, what happened? <laughs> Who is the frog? Really? Do you yeah. know? Is he really a frog or is he a is he a boy? He's a boy. Then there was a sudden flash. <laughs> All at once the frog vanished and a boy appeared in his place. Okay, let's try. Wow, there he is. There was a sudden flash. Oh, wait a minute. He wore the finest clothes and a splendid crown. Oh, what is he? King. Well, she is a princess, and he is a prince. Prince. Thank you, he cried. I was trapped in a spell. But now I can go back to my life as a prince. Not before we played those games, said the princess. They had such a lovely time playing together that the prince decided to stay another day, and then another, until it seemed silly to ever leave. And they became their very best of friends. Oh, baby. She finally has a friend. Really?